Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Network Security Group and Subnet in Azure SQL Managed Instance. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal and this is my SQL Managed Instance. Now, if you see the Virtual Network and Subnet, let me click on it. Okay, now if you click on Subnet, you see this Managed Instance Subnet is created when you are deploying the SQL managed instance. You click on here and you would see that there is an NSG that is created with it. So we did not create any NSG. Well, deploying the SQL managed instance, it creates a route table and an NSG. So let me first of all look for this NSG. So if I open up here and I click on it. security groups this is my energy that is associated with that subnet now if you would see the inbound rules here so automatically these rules are created by default and you would see that Microsoft SQL managed instance use only MI SQL management in this Subnet. So destination is this is my subnet in which I have deployed my SQL managed instance and the source service tag and the port ranges that it is allowed. Right? Same way you see these rules. And the SQL managed instance. Manage SQL instance. These are the default rules. Allow TDS inbound for transparent data security. Redirect inbound. Uh, the allow GODR inbound for geo replication. Deny all inbound. So if you would see the outbound rules, same as well, right? So the, these create these are created on their own while we are deploying SQL managed instance. All right. And now if you would uh, now if you would look at the error message that I was I'm using SQL Server authentication. Public is enabled on it. So if you would I am logged on with the wrong ID here. Let me go back and go on here. And if you would see the networking part. I'm sorry, I was looking at the VNet. So this is your uh, VNet and the managed instance subnet. Public endpoint I have enabled. Used to enable data access for cloud outside of the connected virtual networks. And public endpoints will always default to proxy connection mode. So if you would see here, right, this option requires port 3342B open for inbound traffic. You will need to configure an energy rule for this port separately. So here is the documentation that talks about it in detail. Public endpoint. So you enable the public endpoint and what you do is allow public inbound traffic on the network security group. So now if you go to the network security group for 3342, right, you go here, you click on the NSG, you click on the inbound rule, and you add an inbound rule here. 
so source would be my any source port range would also be star destination would be any destination port range i would go for 3342 protocol is tcp action is allow priority you can set under 102 you can set it to 1300 give it a name you click on add now i am adding a rule to allow inbound traffic on port 3342 for my sql mi so that i can connect it over the public endpoint it is created i go back to my sql server management studio and confirm with the same user id and password now if i am able to connect to it or not let me pause it yeah, maybe we are not able to connect i tried this one as well but if you want to uh, let's say your application wants to connect to the sql manage instance and while using the complete fqdn that the portal provides i have to mention the port number as well because this is the only port on which it allows the connection using public endpoint and it cannot be modified all right i hope this was useful for you and if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day